Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to share the story behind that awesome bobcat tree we had a few weeks ago. Uh, I had, <laughs> I have a lot of awesome footage from it. So I wanted to share the story and I was really hopeful we'd have more cat hunting videos to share, but for lack of better word, it's been a really pathetic cat hunting season. Lion season closed, I think the last good snow, which isn't a shock. Oh, it's a bummer, but last year it closed like I think January 1st. So I guess we got more time than we would have last year. We had just treed that mountain lion uh, that morning with uh, the guy that we met who had found the track and graciously let us run it with him, which was really cool because most people would have, you know, like blocked the road and not let us by. So really nice guy, uh, appreciated him letting us run the cat with him and once we were finished with that lion, I want to say it was probably 10 o'clock in the morning. It was still pretty early, early enough, but we just kind of ran the rest of the roads that we were planning on running that day. And then we were headed back to camp actually, when we came across this bobcat track and you know, it was a decent sized track. It was a little older, a little bit of snow in it. And we were like, you know what, let's just see what he does with it. Bolt's almost eight years old. He's a very experienced bobcat dog. So we're like, let's just let him out on it. <clears throat> He'll let us know if it's too old to really run. And we did let him out and he was kind of just him hawing on it, you know, like go pee on this tree, kind of smell the track, wander over here, kind of smell the track. But I was like, you know, it looks fresh enough. So I tried to keep him on it. I walked with him a little bit and got him to smell a couple different spots and got him going on it and he was going real slow he was real quiet on it so that you know it doesn't mean that it was a bad track or anything but it's a good thing for bobcats nonetheless went real slow and i bet 10 20 minutes went by and gps said treat and levi and i are kind of looking at each other like that seems a little too easy check the distance it's about 400 yards maybe a little bit past 400 yards and we're kind of still looking at each other like that seems too easy and I would have videoed all this, but my camera battery was like dead and I didn't want to miss Bobcat videos by talking. <laughs> so that's why I'm here. So where he was treed, allegedly, we weren't too sure. We were kind of wondering maybe he found a rock pile where he slept and was kind of just taking his time looking through it. So we were like, let's walk down in there a little ways because it was windy on the ridge and we couldn't hear him. And if Bolt is barking, he's most likely treed. You know, there's a specific bark, I should say, to his treeing. And we couldn't hear it, so we're like, let's go down the hill a little bit. We went maybe a hundred yards and we could hear him barking, and it was like, okay, I guess, you know, that's his tree bark, so. Huh, tree bark, no pun intended. Uh, so we get in there a little ways. Levi leashes Gus, because nine times out of 10, we wouldn't take him. That's actually the first tree he's ever been in on, but we really thought it was no big deal. <laughs> So he leashed Gus, because um, if we all, if y'all rush to the tree, you kind of risk spooking the cat and it jumping, not so much with bobcats, but a lot with lions. So he leashed Gus and he was like, why don't you go ahead and walk up and see what you see? And so he followed Bolt's tracks and I was kind of following Bolt's tracks, but kind of just getting my butt to the tree to see what it was. And I found a spot where it was like, boom the tracks were minutes old like just they were perfect I think I've got a clip of it from my phone camera and I'll share that but they were you could just see where it was like Bolt jumped it and it's exactly where he jumped it but all of a sudden the tracks were just crazy hot and so I got all excited and was like hell yeah this is awesome ran up and run up but got to, got to the tree and looked up and just saw that cat with the blue sky behind it it was so freaking pretty i was freaking out so got the camera out took all the videos he started really low on the tree and kind of worked his way up um and once he was to the top he was just so gorgeous and such a big beautiful cat so i'm hollering at levi i'm like get your butt over here this is so awesome and i was just worried it would jump but as high up in the tree as it was it wasn't jumping but i was still just like so much adrenaline of how cool it was so um so he came and it was kind of funny because you tell the moment the cat saw Gus and was like, what is that? Like a polar bear showed up and <laughs> he didn't like that very much. Climbed a little further up the tree. Levi had followed the tracks a little more specifically than I did and said that he could see where the cat was kind of sleeping under a rock and like a bear patch on the ground. 
and you could see where like Bolt's tracks came up and he has said, he's like, I wouldn't be surprised if Bolt didn't freaking bite it and wake it up and then the race was on, you know? That was, that was pretty cool. He took me back and showed me. Obviously we egged Bolt on, gave him all the praise in the world. Good job, awesome dog. Just, there's nothing quite like a dog that you can just let on a track and boom, you have a tree. It makes all the puppy training, all the slick trees when he's young, totally worth it. It was an amazing cat tree. We decided not to harvest it, which we pretty much already knew we wouldn't harvest it beforehand. Um, we're just living in a camper right now. We were all excited to trap and get cats and all this stuff, but the space is so small. We have the house cat, Lucy, who would just mess with the hides on stretchers. And I don't know that we could get them to dry out because the humidity is so high in the camper because it's such a small space with all of us breathing and everything. So we decided we weren't gonna harvest it just because it wasn't feasible right now for us to work the hide properly. And we do not want to kill a cat just to um, waste the hide that would be that's not an option and that's always kind of fun too to just kind of you know salute him goodbye as we head out a lot of people would get mad at us for not harvesting a cat we treed but I don't think it's about harvesting every single cat at all so it was an amazing tree since we announced we're moving to Alaska it was kind of it felt like kind of a send-off from cat hunting in Colorado it was just it was kind of a poetic ending it felt like like, I was completely happy if that day of the mountain lion and then the bobcat was the last day. And it's looking like it will be because we're about a week out from season ending and lion season ended. So it could very well be the last cats we see in a tree with our dogs. And I'm okay with that. It was, it was awesome and just felt like the perfect goodbye to it. I hope you've been enjoying these videos unfortunately these will probably be the last of the cat hunting stuff i might try to do some old videos to post on it but for the most part we are going to be full bore moving to alaska now so we will be saying goodbye to all the colorado hunting at least for now and heading up north so stay tuned for all that there's going to be a lot of busy 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 going on to get our butts up there we got to prepare for like a 3,300 mile drive. We got to get dogs ready, storage units. It's going to be pretty busy and hopefully once we get there, things will be getting a little more exciting again. So thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. We're closing in on 200 subscribers and that's pretty cool. So I just want to say thank you for following and liking and um, continuing to support us. We appreciate you so much. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.
Bolt. Let's go. Let's leave him. <laughs> Let's leave him to fight another day, dude. Come on. I know. I know. Come on. He says this is not cool. Uh.